Hello friends, welcome to our second national webinar titled Youthful Glow and You, which is organized by the Botany Department of Guru Nanak Khalsa College, Mumbai. Thank you friends for taking time out and being here today. Friends, your active participation is very important. And if you have any questions, just pop them in the live chat. Today's topic, which is Youthful Glow and You, is very interesting. I'm sure you all are happy. You all are here to get useful tips on how to remain young and at the same time have a beautiful glow on your face. Let me tell you friends, the secret of staying young is to live honestly, to eat slowly, to lie about your age, which every one of us does, we do lie about our age. So without wasting much time friends, let me introduce today's guest speaker, Dr. Amit Kaur Puri. Dr. Amit Kaur Puri is a scientist She's an ethnobotanist. She's a naturopath, author, poetess, CSR head at PJ Star University. She's a founder of and the president of AKP Healing India, which is her own baby. She's PhD in botany from Nagpur University. The PhD topic was nutritional aspect of unconventional foods consumed by the Gond and Koku tribes of Vidarbha, India. She's also done postdoctoral research on the topic is pods of cassia tora as effective substitute for coffee and the impact of education on social economic and health status on women and mevat of mevat haryana now she's got a number of professional affiliations a few of them i'll just mention she is the board of the, into the board of director global literacy festival noida she is a member society of ethnobotany usa She's a member FICCI Ladies Organization. She's a member Indian Science Congress. She's a member of Botanical Society, Sagar University, Sagar. Now, she has a number of ac uh, academic achievements. She's a topper in DSC. She's a topper in MSc with the myco uh, mycology and plant pathology. She's published more than 100 research papers. She's also published five books. I think Women, the Achievers, is one of them which started in 2016 where she writes all the life uh, the story of the women and uh, she's into women empowerment also and she's got so many other achievements uh, she i think she runs a certificate course in food preservation she's organized several global literally festivals uh, she is into series of uh, radio and tv interviews on environmental issues you can see her on facebook she's always there on interviews uh, she is honored with the Women of the Decade Award from WEF. And most important of all, she has planted one crore trees. And she started the next one crore trees also. Her mission is natural immunity transforming lives. So she is so many things rolled into one. I will not take much of your time, friends. I will give the stage the stage is all yours dr amit over to dr amit thank you dr chima ma'am thank you so much for such a wonderful and vast introduction i was still feeling is it me <laughs> so thank you so much with my folded hands and thank all you. the viewers all of you welcome here and we are going to talk about youthful youthful skin youthful you and youthful glow and you so uh, I will start as I always do. I start my session with a shloka and that is Hita Hitam Sukham Dukham Ayu Tasya Hita Hitam. That means our age, our age has benefits also and uh, uh, there are some uh, sadness also. Mm -hmm. So age consists of both health and um, unhealthiness. So it's up to you, uh, up to us, how we are perceiving our age and how we are dealing with it to be more uh, healthier, to have a beautiful skin, to have a lovely uh, body and a beautiful mind. So all this is in our hand. Hit and a hit, it means goodness and the sadness is in our hand as far as the health is concerned. So uh, actually about youthfulness, we all age, right? I was young, I was very, very small when uh, my mother used to uh, feed me and she was with me all the time. And then I used to ask her a question, ki, uh, you will always be there with me, right? 
तो बट आई हैव सीन इन ड्यू कोर्स ऑफ टाइम माय मॉम माय ग्रैंड मॉम एंड अदर पीपल दे एज्ड एंड नाउ शी इज नो मोर सो पीपल एज यस दे डू एंड सो वी आर बट व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स दैट प्रमोट्स एजिंग some of us uh, like you know if we are 40 40 years we look like 60 so uh, the chronological uh, chronological age and the biological age are different for everyone so we can stay young still we can stay uh, young even at 40 even at 50 we can look like 20 or 25 or if you are 25 you can look like 16 so your chronological age doesn't coincide with your biological age we can we are capable of reversing our age we are capable of staying uh, right at 20 and 25 even if we are aging so aging brings lot of the lot of process in the body it slows down our uh, uh, thinking process slow down we are facing lot of uh, other problems like stress dementia then our cardiac art output it slows lowers down our locomotory organs lower down we have pains and different type of uh, things different type of symptoms appear which occurs due to aging aging is nothing but just a biological process and it happen what is the scientific reason behind aging so uh, i will tell you what is the scientific reason and how we can stop it or how we can reverse it there are uh, telomeres in our body telomeres uh, like i am explaining you we have having chromosomes in our cell Chromo- chromosomes are thread like structure like i am taking the shoe lace here so suppose suppose this is a chromosome and at the end of the chromosome there are cap like structure can you see these cap like structures okay these are the cap like structures which are referred to as telomeres these telomeres helps to protect the activity of chromosomes but but you know what these telomeres start decreasing in their size as the cell divides when the cell divides or there is replication of chromosome then the size of the telomere it reduces and actually the size of the telomere decides the youthfulness of our body the youthfulness of our entire body system if it's functioning properly or not and these the size of the telomere decides our age how long we are going to stay right so it's not our uh, chronological age but it is the size of the telomere so scientists they uh, just uh, measure the size of telomere and they can tell you how long you are going to stay or what is the uh, how long uh, you will be healthy so to in, uh, since the size of the telomere reduces as the cell divide but we can reverse it by having three things in our daily routine first of all the most important thing is nutrition and diet what type of nutrition we should have what type of diet we should have to have uh, the optimum and the uh, good health con- healthy conditions second most important thing is availability of oxygen that is how uh, how much oxygen is available for our different parts uh, for our organs to proper for the proper functioning of our organs and third most important thing is de stress yourself and the happiness so all these three things first nutrition second exercise and third happiness these are the three factors which will make you youthful happy and uh, your मतलब पीपल विल स्टार्ट से कि आपके त्वचा से आपके एज का पता ही नहीं चलता एंड इट हैपेंस इट रियली हैपेंस सो वन सेकेंड सॉरी एम आई विजिबल सो लेट एस स्टार्ट द सिम्टम्स ऑफ एजिंग द सिम्टम स्टार्ट बाय द ग्रेइंग ऑफ एयर ग्रेइंग ऑफ हेयर then our skin sags it have lot of rashes and uh, open pores our skin have so how to, i will start how to treat your nervous system how to treat your head and skull to have a good thinking process good thoughts in your mind and to and to activate your brain so for your brain activation for the good growth of your hair because here are the symptoms which show how much age you have Uh, how much uh, old you are growing so we will have this activity we have to uh, take the middle finger and the ring finger 
and like this we have to make a deer pose like this and we have to tap our skull slowly like this we need to tap our skull slowly if we tap our skull for 5 minutes you can also do this activity with me so you will experience a tingling sensation on your skull what does this activity does it increases the circulation in our skull and activates the hair follicles hair originates from the follicles so it activates the hair follicles and the root of the hair increases the circulation provide proper blood supply to our skull and thus the hair the uh, the growth of the hair it increases the rate of growth of hair it increases and for this we can also apply amla and i have prepared a uh, oil which helps in the promotion of your hair growth for the good texture of your hair for the uh, for the black color of your hair as well as for uh, if you want silky long and beautiful hair you can use this oil even if you are growing bald some in some cases like alopecia when it is localized alopecia people start losing hair in patches they grow bald they can also use this oil how to prepare this oil so uh, it is very very easy we have to uh, have kalonji seeds kalonji seeds are nothing but the onion seeds which you can see over here these are the onion seeds or the kalonji seeds you can buy it from the market and then make a paste of it make it a powder of it then put some coconut oil suppose you are taking 2 teaspoon of kalonji seeds to it you have to add 1 cup of coconut oil cover the lid and boil allow to boil it then fill it in glass jar like this put it in a sun for 2 to 3 days and then when you apply this oil kalonji ka tel kalonji oil on your scalp by using the same technique the deer te technique it is going to increase the uh, it will activates the hair follicles on your skull and give rise to hair growth invariably second thing which we can use for our hair is amla ambilica officinalis so uh, all the time we are not able to have amla uh, in every season so i have dried the amla and made the powder of amla this amla you can use to wash your hair just may uh, mix uh, this amla powder in water and apply as a pack on your hair before washing and then wash with uh, normal tap water so this way you are going to increase the beauty of your hair the youthfulness of your hair and the uh, blood circulation on your scalp so actually surely it is going to improve the third uh, important thing which is very important for the growth of your hair and for the silkiness of your hair is this uh, hibiscus flower now this his hibiscus flower is the indian variety and it is very very beautiful it is a desi hibiscus flower or gudhal ka phool we can make paste of this gudhal ka phool and we can apply it and this paste can be applied on our scalp and then wash it with normal tap water so this way we can use many things many herbs which is available in our day to day life to improve the quality of our hair now coming next next coming to our skin the face the face projects the beauty of face project is projected by how happy you are and i personally think your the most important jewel which you can wear is the smile so always keep on smiling it increases your face value but uh, coming to the point how can you increase the beauty of your uh, face we are having various kind of muscles in our uh, on our face and there's so many muscles and the wrinkles they start over the edges of the eye and at the edges of the lips mostly the uh, mostly uh, wrinkles start appearing from this area and it happens because of expo not only uh, it is sometimes it is genetics but sometimes it occur due to the environmental condition due to the pollution due to the type of food we eat due to the sedentary lifestyle so uh, the environmental condition which is unfavorable for the good skin is uh, smoke 
more uh, smoke and the air pollution air pollution we should uh, we should try to be in a in a right uh, unpolluted air we should breathe unpolluted air and uh, suppose we are taking three subjects they are going for a walk everybody says that walking is very good but uh, if we are taking three subjects and one first person is going to walk in the area which is uh, which is having all the natural beauty which is having lot of trees and plants the second subject and the second person is going for a walk to a uh, car exhaust area where car, where there is a lot of carbon um, uh, carbon in the air and um, the area is full of air pollutants and third person is walking on the treadmill at home so all of us we can say we, we can also tell that yes the person who is going for a walk in the natural environment is becoming more and more healthier as compared to the person who is walking on treadmill and the third uh, the more uh, it is harm uh, uh, sorry car exhaust is very very harmful for our health so these are all these factor these are the factors which uh, you know uh, which uh, decreases the size of the telomeres so these factors also uh, are very important for the for maintaining the youthfulness of your skin now about the face how in the face the most important organ is our eyes so these nowadays it is a digital world we are also um, in front of our laptops and we are using different kind of gadgets so our eye muscle it uh, it there is a lot of weakness in our high muscles and it gets tired very easily so there are certain activities certain things where through which we can maintain the youthfulness and the, the strength of our eyes first of all we can we can we should use uh, one teaspoon of desi ghee and one teaspoon of honey mix it well make it warm mix it well like this and apply the desi ghee and the honey at the on your eyelid like this so if we are applying desi ghee and honey on the on our eyelid it is surely going to remove the tiredness of our eyes second we can also use cucumber have cucumber slices and put it on your eyes like this it is also it gives cooling effect to our body uh, to our eyes third we can also dip the cotton in the milk and then these cotton we can put on our eyes also we can uh, dip cotton in uh, rose water and put this cotton on our eyes secondly how to uh, de stress your eyes make a cup of your palm like this and do the palming thing you can also do with, uh, do with me make a cup put it on your eyes and then remove make a cup put it on your eyes and remove you will feel lot of you know your vision will increase your uh, uh, seeing power from the eyes it will it is definitely going to increase and you are actually de-stressing your eyes then second uh, other um, exercise which can which you can do for your eyes is this clockwise rotation then anti clockwise rotation third exercise is you have to open your eyes completely and then close it like this so this way you can remove the tiredness of from your eyes uh, tiredness which happens due to the uh, over exposure from uh, blue light as well as different type of gadgets which we are using so this is very good exercise for the eyes now coming to the mandibular region your jaw most of us we have double chin it comes with age or if we are not if we are having sedentary lifestyle or fatty foods in our diet then we most of us we have double chin so how to have this proper jaw line there are certain uh, uh, certain strokes which we should do that is from uh, uh, for the neck we have to go from downwards to upwards like this these strokes are very very important and for the facial muscles we have to go from middle portion to the lateral side like this for the jaw line for the mandibular side you have to do this so this uh, this type these type of stroke which starts from the medium portion 
going gradually towards the lateral side is going to build up your jawline and the mandibular uh, area. Plus, uh, we can also have the exercise that is called as cow cutting. Cow cutting means you have to both, both, uh, move both the mandibles in the opposite direction. So, we will do it for two times. See like this. This is called chewing of cut or cow. Um, so, we can, uh, we can uh, have a proper jawline by using this mandibular te technique. We can also uh, increase the volume of our cheeks and the circulatory system improves in our uh, cheeks by supplying more and more blood by having a Hanuman pose. Hanuman pose is like this. And then we can also fill air inside our cheeks like this. And for lips, we have to this ex do this exercise. These are oris muscles in our lips. So, this uh, increases the blood supply in our lips and this way we can increase the volume of our lips as well. So, uh, there are different techniques, of, uh, different yoga posture which we have to adopt every day. It is not the one, one day thing. So, friends, if you want that uh, your face should look beautiful, you should apply these techniques, these simple yoga techniques to increase the blood circulation in your uh, face. First of all, I told about mandibles. Second, I told about the cheeks. Third, I told about the lips. And now we are going to talk about the forehead. You have to take all these four fingers and put in the middle portion of your forehead like this. And you have to see these fingers and raise your eyebrows like this. See. Repeat this at least for 15 times and for having good uh, exercise of this uh, muscle in, in the muscle in between the cheeks and the jaw, you have to say O and E, O, E, O, E, O, E. So, these are the different techniques which uh, helps to improve the circulation on our face. Uh, now, nutrition pay plays its role also. So, we should have the uh, food which is very less in uh, uh, sugar, sugar content of the food should be less. So, we have to have uh, the food which have low glycemic index. Glo uh, low glycemic index are the foods which are uh, having very less amount of sugar. Second, we should have uh, hyaluronic acid also. We should have omega-3 fatty acid also. So, I am naming all these chemical, biochemical compounds. But uh, yes, I am going to tell what are the different foods, what are the different diets which consist of these phytochemicals, these biochemical compounds. So, in a very, very simple way. Okay, so that we have to, we can apply in our day-to-day -day life. The most important uh, uh, fruit, you can say, the most important fruit or the most important plant which makes us youthful that is which is the fountain of youth is anar or um, anar or the pomegranate uh, see I have kept the pomegranate seeds over here and if we are consuming one pomegranate each day then it's surely going to increase the youthfulness of our body and maintaining the good digestive system giving our uh, skin a youthful touch uh, we can eat this also and what is the science behind this, how this pomegranate, how I am saying that this is the fountain of youthfulness because there is a scientific reason behind it. This pomegranate seeds have a precursor, youth precursor and when we eat these seeds and these seeds go inside our gut, we have a microflora of bacteria inside our gut. These bacteria act on the precursor and convert these into a youthful compound known as urolithin.
so urolithin a urolithin is uh, a is very very important to have to build the collagen and the elastin uh, protein in our body and this collagen is very important very good compound it is necessary compound for maintaining the youthfulness in our dermal dermal area of the skin so now you understand why we should eat uh, pomegranate seeds because it has a miracle biochemical compound known as urolithin okay so not only eating we can also uh, use uh, the peel of pomegranate because am to am gutliyo ke vidam as we know the phrase so we you should not throw the peel of pomegranate you just preserve it make it shade dry isko shade dry karna hai make a powder of this pomegranate peel and mix it well with the curd and apply it on your face and the exposed portion of your skin wherever you want the youthfulness where the portion of the skin wherever you want it has uh, to shine to make it shine so apply this pack of pomegranate peel along with milk or curd allow it to stand for some time allow it to dry and then wash it with the normal tap water this does miracles if you want fair skin white skin if you if you don't want any pigmentation on your skin then please consume pomegranate anar daily in your diet and apply pomegranate peel pack on your face on your skin also you can have a, if any girl or anyone any 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 of you want to look beautiful and you want to glow with uh, beauty then you can also use pomegranate tea the powder pomegranate peel we can use the pomegranate peel for this the powder take 1 teaspoon of powdered pomegranate peel and 1 teaspoon of powdered rose we have to take desi rose and allow it to dry make the powder of desi rose as well 1 teaspoon of desi rose powder and 1 teaspoon of pomegranate peel boil it one glass in one glass of water and have it empty stomach daily in the morning it is surely going to increase Uh, the beautiful good metabolites of our body and uh, this is in this will going to this is going to increase the immunity of our body as well it to help it helps to maintain the youthfulness of our skin so uh, dear friends uh, some of us uh, take uh, the th- medicines of thyroid in the morning which we have to take empty stomach you may ask amit you are saying that we have to take uh, pomegranate and rose tea empty stomach in the morning then how are we going to take the medicine right so uh, for those who are taking thyroid medicines you should take first your medicines empty stomach and after half an hour without av- having any food anything in your without ingesting anything first thing which you should have is the tea of pomegranate and rose if you want uh, if you want to be a cleopatra if you want to look youthful throughout your life then this is my recommendation to all of you to have pomegranate and rose tea early in the morning empty stomach so i hope you understand the usage of pomegranate right um now the next comes people say uh, we have uh, tanning in our skin my our skin gets tanned very easily it is it happens it happens because of sun exposure we have uv rays in the sun which affects uh, our skin and it produces a free radicals and these free radicals get accumulated it produces a dead skin and in due course of time our skin it uh, sags down and then it uh, have a lot of tanning and the freshness goes as we age so how can we maintain the freshness and how can we detan our skin the procedure is very very easy and very cost effective also for this we have to use this yes can you see this this is coriander coriander leaves these are coriander leaves or dhaniya just take handful of coriander in a your mixer grinder grind it with some amount of water and drink this drink either you can drink or you apply this on the affected portion where your skin has tanned there are certain areas like here certain areas around your jaw certain areas on your forehead which becomes black or certain in your knuckles area these area become black so and elbows also 
so you can apply this uh, uh, dhaniya water on the affected area and this is which is surely going to lighten up the pigmented pigmented skin as well as it will give you fresh glow so this is all about the topical use of uh, these products we can also ingest many products which are helpful to build up our immunity so first of all the first ingredient which i will suggest which i will start is this flax seeds flax seeds you can see this flax seeds okay these are the flax seeds and these are the storehouse of omega 3 fatty acids omega 3 fatty acids are very important component omega 3 fatty acid is the very very necessary component to build up the elasticity of our dermal of the dermal layer of our skin so uh, how we can have this flax seeds right so how we can include in our diet so you just uh, roast it and then make a powder of it if you are ingesting this flax seeds like as it is then it's not going to serve the purpose alternatively you have to consume it in a powdered form have 1 teaspoon of powdered flax seeds daily in your diet to maintain the optimum level of omega 3 fatty acids okay so this is also a um, lovely uh, seeds which is available throughout india and abroad it is very very easily available so you so you can have this flax seeds so, uh, then one more thing now summers have come right summers have come and i i was suggesting i'm suggesting kadha to have kadha in your diet to build up your immunity since we are suffering a lot from the covid virus attack corona virus and the people are suffering from covid so um, for that i was suggesting kadha so this is the this is my favorite drink which not only builds up our immunity but it also helps to maintain the youthfulness of your skin uh, see uh, people why why we age one more thing one more thing i want to tell you not telomeres is okay telomeres are there but Uh, the simplest thing i just want to talk uh, right now is we have lot of coffee we have lot of tea right we start our day by having coffee and tea okay and we have lot of acidic food in our diet now what happens when we take when you consume coffee tea and acidic food in our diet it builds up lot of acidity lot of toxins in our intestine which are not been neutralized now this creates the free radical inside our body and these free radicals keep on accumulating accumulating inside our body so we have to neutralize it by having alkaline food now what are these alkaline foods i'm not saying you to stop the coffee and tea right you can but decrease the amount of coffee and tea which you consume and what if i am saying that you should not have coffee and please if you can please don't have coffee and substitute it with mono herb tea mono herb tea i will tell you what is mono herb tea later but uh, how can you have alkaline because we are having alkaline water here you can everyone can have alkaline water just we have to have a, a cup of water to it we can add dhaniya or pudina pudina means main dhaniya means coriander and we can have lemon or any type of citrus fruit here i have used mosambi that is sweet lime and uh, you can have this drink allow it to stand for 6 to 7 uh, hours and then you can have this water which is alkaline which it is going to alkaline alkaline have your gut will have alkaline thing and then the toxins which are made up which are built due to having the acidic food tea and coffee will neutralize second you can have kadha this kadha is my favorite drink since my childhood and um, i really endorse this in the in the in this covid 19 time as well as uh, till uh, till i am there i am i will be having this kadha every day i have this kadha thrice a day and what are the ingredients which are which i am using to have this kadha are as what well. i am just discussing it so first of all the most important uh, herb which we are using is this rhizome of ginger ginger is having lot of bio good biochemical compounds and uh, i have to uh, i take half inch of ginger 
then here you can see the different herbs here kali mirch bay leaves and i also use methi seeds other ingredient is ajwain dhaniya seeds and turmeric as we all know turmeric is very very uh, rich it is an antibiotic because of presence of curcumin and uh, uh, and it is having all the good uh, biochemical compounds which are going to build up our immunity so we have to take all these ingredients half of teaspoon in four glasses of water cover the lid boil it and uh, till the water becomes half and uh, when the four glasses of water become two glasses you can have your kala early in the morning having uh, before having any type of meal you can have this kala any time so uh, this kala is going to build up your immunity invariably and it is going to maintain the size of your telomeres as well it is going to increase the activity of your uh, mitochondria you know in our body uh, our organisms we all know like you know most of us uh, we are well aware about mitochondria and mitochondria are the storehouse of these are the power house actually of energy so when these are the power house of energy how to fuel them we can fuel them by having this kadha and also a green drink which i am going to suggest you right now what is the green drink green drink is the drink full of chlorophyll full of green good compound full of phytochemical compounds and this green drink we can make by having a bunch of dhania two three leaves of uh, spinach two three leaves of uh, tulsi or holy basil and one leaf of kale mix them well and grind it in a mixture grinder make the volume till one glass and have this green drink full of chlorophyll or every alternate day so if you are having the green drink full of chlorophyll it will neutralize all the toxins build up in your intestine and it works it really works it is tried and tested technique so um, we are having so many things right ki uh, she is telling to have kala and uh, alkaline water and then green drink and all so uh, friends you can uh, opt uh, what what the uh, best suits to your system what best uh, things are what are available as per your availability as per your choice you can choose because i am telling so many things but uh, it's up to you what you want to choose what you want to adopt to look beautiful to look youthful right so one more thing i want to tell you this you can see the red color beautiful red, red color this is the juice of watermelon and now summers have come so in summers i want to have uh, taste also i want to have something which is a uh, bit cool so it is cool it is lovely and it tastes so well so in this um, watermelon juice i have i pour some soaked chia seeds these are soaked chia seeds i will put these soaked chia seeds one teaspoon of soaked chia seeds in my watermelon drink and then i will have it it is thanda thanda cool cool very 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 nice <laughs> yeah so have it once and um, it tastes so well and it does wonders to your skin literally it does wonders to your skin and one more thing one more thing the peel which you throw watermelon peel you throw you take that peel rub your cheeks with your watermelon peel and um, it's going to increase the glow and the shine of your skin just you have to rub the watermelon peel it will hydrate your skin so our skin needs hydration right it needs to be hydrated to look more turgid to look more uh, you know shine to have a beautiful shine so you can drop the watermelon peel on your face as well so what next uh, next is tomatoes uh, these tomatoes uh, see beautiful red color of tomatoes and uh, these tomatoes are rich in carotenoids and lycopene so uh, to having the tomato juice you uh, you just puree the tomato in your mixer grinder make a volume one glass of uh, till a glass of water and have it uh, by addition of black salt and black peppercorn powder 
So lycopene compound which is found in tomatoes is uh, actually is actually too good for your skin. So we can have juice of tomato every alternate day. Or alternatively, you can also have it in a soup form. You can also apply it directly on the skin to have that lighter white shining on your skin. So tomatoes. Now, um, to be a bit, you know, um, I told you about hair, right? I told you about eyes, how you can uh, have the beautiful eyes and all. Now I will be telling ki, when we age, right, when we age, then our this portion, the neck portion, the nape portion, the clavicle portion, um, then sub uh, supraspinatus and infraspinatal muscles, they get tired very, very easily, very easily. So what are the different techniques to have beautiful and youthful and the strong shoulders, to have strong shoulders, to have strong this neck muscles and the nape muscles, supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscle. How can we increase the flexibility of these muscles and how can we be strong, how can we make our shoulders strong to hold our head uh, like this. Okay, so uh, this is very very easy technique for your neck, for your this neck you can have this exercise, just you have to raise your head like this, stay there and then come down. So this way you can have uh, exercise for your neck and how to build how to know how much flexible your arm, how, how flexible is your this pectoral muscles, you know, pectoral muscles is also very, very important. So we can have, uh, I just, uh, I will stand, I will let you know how, how we can do that. Mm -hmm. See, you have to take your both the hands, interlock it and take it back and try to bend yourself. Can you see like this? and then come up. So this way, if you are able to do this, that means your pectoral girdle is strong enough to do that, do this. Secondly, what we can do, back namaskar, you can have back namaskar, like this, yes. So actually uh, the space is limited so I cannot tell all um, but you can hold you, you take uh, your right hand and your left hand try to hold try to hold your hand like this if you are capable of holding your right hand and your left hand and your head should be like this towards the light, right hand then this shows that your supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscles are strong enough to hold your both the hands this you have to do daily daily every day you have to at least do it repeat it for 10 times at least so this is going to build up your strong shoulder and your neck and nape muscles will become very strong even the clavicle bone so now coming to chest portion how can be how you can be youthful that way chest is having heart chest is having lungs so chest portion needs lot of oxygen oxygen because oxygen is being pumped from the heart and oxygen is there complete oxygen is there in our alveolar bronchial region of lungs how to build up the best the best herb which is which is good for your uh, having for you to have a beautiful amount of oxygen in your lungs and in your heart is ginger ginger so ginger is having all the phytochemical compounds which is going to improve the quality uh, of your lungs the amount of oxygen in your lungs and second very important herb is licorice or mullet tea you can see here this leucorice i hope you are able to see leucorice and mullet tea right this leucorice is very important herb and it is going to 
secure the glands which are found in the bronchial region which are found in the buccal cavity which are found here the thyroid gland the uh, vocal cords it is it improves the quality of all the organs which are associated with the vibration happening due to passage of air so uh, you have you can gargle by having this uh, leucorice just you have to boil the leucorice in uh, one cup of water you can have gargle you can do gargle out of this you can have the powder of leucorice you can have tea of leucorice or you can just chew like this so uh, you can just chew the stem of leucorice or if you are having it in a powdered form you just put it in your tea have a mas nice masala tea of leucorice so i always uh, i chew sometimes this leucorice to have a beautiful um, voice from coming from my vocal cord so i really love this because uh, this is a wood but it is so sweet what does it tell it tells us our hum uh, all of the human beings that if we are sweet everybody will like us not only sweetness it is very good medicinally it is also very very important uh, so <laughs> uh, this is about how we can build up the oxygen uh, content of our lungs and uh, i totally i i just want to recommend uh, you do not smoke because uh, smoking it decreases the uh, lung it decreases lung capacity and it makes us age rapidly aging process increases by smoke so you do not use smoke or soot because our body is not meant uh, for smoking it is meant to live it is meant to have a lot of oxygen it is meant to be more happier to look good to look pretty to think uh, nice in a nicer way right so i think our we should have we should take care of our body now next for youthfulness there are different type of skin some skin are very dry others are oily so teenagers yes so uh, there are a lot of hormonal changes when in your when you enter in your adulthood when you are you know a lot of so many of ac uh, many acne and pimples they appear the flakes and all appear on the skin for this is for addressing the students so for student how they can overcome the problem of acne and the pimples uh, we can have a, we have a beautiful tree in our india it is freely available uh, can you identify these leaves yeah these leaves are of neem so just what what you have to do you have to take these neem make a paste of uh, out of it and apply it on the pimple wherever the pimple is there just apply the paste of neem leaves and if you can't find a neem leaves you can have neem powder also and you can mix this uh, you can mix uh, neem powder in a water and apply it on the affected area or if you have very very oily skin bahut zyada oily skin hai then you can use neem powder plus multani mitti right multani mitti make a paste of it and apply it on the affected portion wherever you are having pimples so and after that you wash it uh, by normal tap water and at least do it for 15 to 20 days at least make it a regime make it it a regime that uh, every day you will wash your face by using neem and you can also put some uh, Uh, leaves of neem in the water where, when you take bath rinse your body with neem water or you can also add neem powder now these are the you can see these are the fruits of neem okay so if we consume one fruit of neem or a seed of neem daily it cleanses our blood when there is a cleaning inside our blood then we will have automatically natural glow on our skin so you have to heal your inner thing also you can have neem leaves you can consume neem leaves to purify your blood this is a natural blood purifier neem is the natural blood purifier so you can have this secondly 
there's a lot of you know hormonal imbalances in our body and especially for girls especially for women every month we face a lot of hormonal imbalance in our body um, due to menstruation and all because first 15 days there's a uh, huge hike in progesterone and then the next 15 days there's a hike in estrogen and how to balance our both uh, both the hormones yes we can balance it by adopting a technique simple technique called seed cycle now what is seed cycle dr ramit what is seed cycle it's very very simple there we have to take four seeds okay now what are these four seeds first is flax seeds second pumpkin seed third sunflower seed and fourth sesame seeds okay so we have to divide our month into two phases first phase is first phase is from the first day of the period to the 15th day of the period on menstruation and second phase from the 16th day till 30th day so we are having two phases in the month and what about people who are not menstruating for them they can follow moon from no moon to half moon half moon to full moon two phases right so in the first phase we have to take two seeds one teaspoon of flax seeds powder and one teaspoon of uh, pumpkin seeds pumpkin seeds are full of antioxidants and they help to manage our uh, hormonal imbalances and you all know now the flax seeds is rich in omega 6 and omega 3 fatty acids so first phase you should have one teaspoon of flax seeds and one teaspoon of pumpkin seeds and in the second phase you can have two seeds again one teaspoon of sesame seeds and one teaspoon of uh, sunflower seeds now sesame seeds and sunflower seeds balances the hormones progesterone inside your body okay so i hope you understand the seed cycle how to manage and balance your hormones every month so this can be done by the girl or by the um, by the person who is having menopause as well by seeing the moon position of moon uh, and we have we should we have to do this because all these four seeds are embedded it is full of it is having lot of compounds phytochemical compounds which balances our hormones so this is about seed cycle now uh, in summers uh, it's very important to have we is uh, the most easily available are the cook, members of cucurbitaceae family and cucurbitaceae family members are helpful in maintaining youth as far as the fatty liver is concerned Fatty liver is also the cause of concern which does not allow us to look beautiful, which doesn't allow us to look more youthful. So if you are having family uh, fruits and the vegetables belonging to cucurbitaceae family, that is ghee, tori, tinda and uh, snake, uh, bottle gourd, snake gourd and uh, karela, mamadika, I mean all these things if you are including in your diet then you are surely going to remove that uh, the malfunctioning of your liver as well because liver is also a very it is the largest gland in our body which needs to be taken care of uh, call him call him uh, am i uh, are you able to see me yeah so, uh, uh, nahi, uh, make it vertical. Yes, yes. Fine. But landscape view is gone. X one second. Hmm. Mm. No, not yet. Um, okay, if you don't want to show anything, it's okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. Right. So, uh, 
Now, uh, uh, since we were talking about uh, having beautiful skin and all, so we cannot neglect the power of aloe vera, right? We cannot neglect the power of aloe vera and aloe vera is, uh, as we all know these days, uh, it is uh, the best gel, which is the natural gel which we can use to improve and hydrate our skin it is very good uh, it is very good um, plant to hydrate your skin naturally so here i have put uh, can you see the aloe vera plant here can you see the aloe vera plant yeah so i have put this aloe vera plant and uh, every day i use uh, it i use the gel of aloe vera these this is a succulent leaf of aloe vera so you can take uh, the gel out of these leaves you can preserve it in your refrigerator for a week and you can use the aloe vera gel uh, to wash your face to wash your different parts of skin it will hydrate the dryness around your skin as we age our skin tend to dry as we uh, as we face a lot of air pollution or stress in our day-to-day -day life then our skin tend to dry mostly the dryness is around the uh, eyes and dryness is around the lips so um, how to take out the gel out of aloe vera i i am just uh, explaining you Just give us 30 seconds, we'll be back. Audience, please give us 30 seconds, we'll be right back. Uh, I guess ma'am is not able to connect, so we'll be right back. In the meantime, I think madam has discussed fairly enough all the aspects of the youthful glow and you. So please give us 30 seconds. Madam will be joining shortly. Some technical problem. Uh, yes, Amit. Yeah. Are you able yeah, to but, see uh, me? Yeah, but uh, make your camera vertical. Yes, yes. 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 Okay, fine. Okay, fine. So, so uh, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry. Uh, my uh, because of some uh, technical issue, I was not uh, in. Uh, I was not able to see you, but it's okay. Uh, now, uh, see, we were talking about aloe vera, right? So, aloe vera, uh, I have planted in my home. You can also plant this uh, beautiful succulent in your home and it is having a lot of benefits as far as the youthfulness of your skin is concerned. So, you have to take the leaf, succulent leaf of aloe vera, remove the dentate region, dentate margin of aloe vera by having like this, you can remove the dentate margin and you can extract the gel in your home see this is a gel and you can collect this gel this gel can be used for a week you can use this gel for a week you can store it in your refrigerator and uh, 
just before going to bed apply this gel on your face and your different part of body wherever you are feeling it's uh, dryness is coming so you can apply this aloe vera gel and then wash it off with the normal tap water so this is also help this will also going to help to increase the youthfulness and to maintain the texture and the hydrated texture of your skin uh, now uh, i have come up with uh, one activity it's very simple all of us we go to parlors to have that glow to have that beauty so and we uh, it it uh, and we spend a lot we spend a lot in uh, having uh, beautiful skin so how can we have it in in very economical way just in 10 rupees just in 10 rupees you can have youthful glowing skin by having home facial home facial and just we need curd we need yogurt which we have all we all of us have yogurt or curd in our house so facial is four step process first step is cleansing second step is scrubbing third step is uh, massaging and the fourth step is applying the pack so i will be demonstrating how can you have good good facial and you are all set to party all set to go out and all set to click your beautiful pictures without spending lot of money in parlors and since now we cannot go to parlors because of lockdown you can have that glow in your skin while staying at your home so first of all the first step the cleansing step cleansing step in the cleansing step we have to take 1 teaspoon uh, sorry 1 tablespoon of curd to this we have to add rose water this is home made rose water add 1 teaspoon of rose water mix it well and then you can apply this cleanser on your skin okay this is nothing but curd and rose water allow it to stand let it be there for 2 to 3 minutes and then wash it off or wipe it with the damp cloth or you can also wipe by having different tissue papers and all so this is very very good cleanser it will remove the dirt and the particles which get stuck on your skin so this is the cleanser which we have prepared by 1 tablespoon of curd and 1 teaspoon of natural rose water this rose water i can tell you i will tell you sometime how you can make your rose water at your home so and the next step which we have to follow is uh, after cleanser the next step is having scrub so scrubbing your dead cells scrubbing your cuticles scrubbing the uh, uh, blackness and those all all those things from your body so uh, from your face so you have to again take one tablespoon of curd for scrub and for scrub you have to add one tablespoon of rice flour okay so you have to add one tablespoon of rice flour inside the curd mix it very well so uh, what if you don't if you don't have rice flour you have rice at home mix it in a piece low grind it in a mixer grinder you will have a rice flour okay rice flour and now you will have a nice paste nice scrub out of rice flour just apply it on the affected area on your face scrub it this way and if you want skin whitening as well along with the scrubbing you can add baking soda you can add Uh, meetha soda also so this uh, this will uh, enable your skin to have that white whitening skin whitening also if your skin is tanned with ultraviolet rays then the soda will decrease the amount of uh, the effect of sun on your skin so just scrub it after scrubbing wipe it off with the tissue or wet co- wet cotton cloth now third step what was the third step yeah yes third step is massaging 
so we can massage we have we we can add, uh, just now we have taken out the aloe vera gel to aloe, aloe vera gel we can add uh, one tablespoon of curd and for massaging we are using half teaspoon of honey right now with aloe vera gel uh, aloe vera is also very good for hydration honey is also very good for hydration purposes and curd so this way you can make your massage cream at home natural massage cream and apply this massage it very well and as i have told you what are the uh, strokes for your face for neck from down to up 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 for jaw from center middle median portion to lateral side like this like this and for your uh, cheek muscles this this clockwise anti clockwise down to up down to up down to up and for eyes from medium portion to lateral side from medium portion to lateral side for this up and down up and down for forehead like this and then tapping this so this is how you can massage your face for 10 minutes and this is going to increase the circulation of your facial skin and it will supply more and more of blood which uh, you will have that pinky glow that beautiful glow and uh, that youthful glow after having this massage acha uh, i have recently i have seen a movie uh, that gully boy in that uh, that actress ali anu uh, she just uh, opened her if she want, when she wanted to look beautiful she opened her hair and she did like this her cheeks so i was like you know i i i loved that part because she was actually improving the blood circulation in her cheeks so when uh, you massage your face with uh, this pack as i have told you the natural pack you are going to increase the blood supply in your face and uh, it will naturally it will glow and after this massage then wipe off most of uh, most of the massage cream it will be absorbed in your face uh, inside your face and uh, the other which are left you have to just wipe it off and then finally you have to apply the pack now how to make the pack you have to take one again one tablespoon of curd to this curd you have to add besan flour besan flour or chana ka flour gram flour see one teaspoon of gram flour and you just mix it very well and now your pack is ready you can apply this pack on your affected portion to close your pores like this this will tighten your skin this will tighten the open pores and uh, it will bring the cells together and you will have that nice tight glowing fresh skin so allow it to dry for uh, say about 10 minutes and then wash it off with normal tap tap water or wipe it off with uh, dampened uh, cotton cloth and finally you will see the difference you will see the difference between the affected portion where you have done the natural facial and the other portion you can see the difference now as well so one of this uh, this is shining this is glowing and this one is okay so <laughs> so this was the live demonstration of a natural facial which you can have just in 10 rupees and um, you can utilize the curd inside in your houses as well now um, for you know for having that uh, rashes free beautiful shining skin without any rashes without any patchiness with aging patches come you know kahi kahi pe we see lot of patches bahut sare patches ho jate hain so for that we use this masoor ka dal 
रेड लेंटिल रेड लेंटिल इज वेरी इफेक्टिव टेक्निक विच आई हैव बिन यूजिंग सिंस लॉन्ग टाइम दिस रेसिपी वॉज गिवन टू मी बाय माय मॉम एंड टू माय मॉम बाय माय नानी जी सो अबाउट दिस वॉट वी हैव टू डू दिस इज मसूर का दाल वी हैव ग्राइंडेड दिस मसूर दाल and we have to add some amount of milk in this masoor dal make a paste of it apply it on your face if you want that really beautiful whitening glowing fresh skin and it removes all the dead skins from the from uh, from the skin and it really works it has worked for me and if you apply it daily religiously for 15 days you will see the affirmative changes the positive changes on your skin and please do this ek bar fir se batati hu 1 tablespoon of grinded masoor dal make a paste of grinded masoor dal in 1 tablespoon of milk apply it on your face leave it for 10 minutes and then wash it off with normal water you can have, use it as a face wash as well daily you should not never apply soap on your face kabhi bhi apne chehre pe don't apply face uh, soap on your face alternatively you should use this masoor ka dal or you can have also you can also add glycerin to it glycerin is also very effective in locking the moisture of your skin so to moisturize your skin you can have glycerin so now we have three things right now with us that is for maintaining the hydration level we can have honey we can have aloe vera we can use glycerin to maintain and lock the moisture and have that glowing youthful skin right now right so how to build your immunity abhi immunity kaise badhayenge how to look more beautiful so we have uh, that in summers every time you cannot have kara right all the time you cannot have kara yes you can have in the morning but uh, what about rest of the day what liquid you have to take or what fruits you have to take and the answer is the fruits rich in vitamin c okay citrus fruits so all the citrus fruits uh, are coming so many fruits citrus fruits are available in the market in summers so this is uh, this i have kept uh, this is a uh, sweet lime we can also use oranges we can use lemon we can use kiwi and uh, so we can have have good amount of vitamin c by the consumption of citrus fruits in our day to day life plus uh the uh, girls and uh, yeah girls the uh, girls or the females or the people who have grown who have crossed 40 years of age what they will do so uh, they can also use berries berries are the answer berries like you know strawberries uh, blueberries mulberries all these berries are very very good to in to lock your to build up your collagen what is collagen we all know yaar collagen is a protein collagen is a protein which is found in our dermal layer and it is very uh, good and it is necessary compound it is important compound to have that turgidity in our dermal area to uh, to have that uh, the, the fuller full skin to have that fresh skin collagen is uh, very elastic and collagen is very very important to have youthful skin so to have um, berries are very important very good compound berries are not only rich in collagen it is also rich in vitamin c vitamin e vitamin k vitamin d vitamin b 12 as well so you should have berries in your diet strawberries mulberries blueberries even banana banana is also very rich in Uh, potassium uh, it's very rich in potassium after consumption of banana you can use the banana peel in rubbing your skin and making it glow like anything it neutralizes the free radicals and the toxins present on your skin so you can you should use all type of berries you should eat all type of berries cherries etc so uh, sometimes we fall sick really after taking so much of uh, uh, 
precautions then also we fall sick now what are the different herbs which we should use to build up to raise our immunity it is sabse pehle to uh, i use giloy giloy is uh, tinospora cordifolia and uh, i include giloy juice i include giloy powder i include giloy tea i include giloy tablets uh, my firm uh, my trust akp healing india we uh, we uh, we uh, supply we actually commercialize we are into commercialization also of these products so we use giloy in our day to day life and in our home and i suggest it to all of my friends to have giloy juice daily so if you don't have giloy juice if you don't have giloy plant in your house go and buy giloy powder powder or giloy tablet and uh, it is the answer to it is the solution actually to all the different kind of liar, different kind of diseases immune uh, which is related to immunity it increases it, it builds up the immunity of our body if continuously for 15 to 20 days if we are consuming giloy in any form either in juice or as a tea or as a tablet or as in a form of powder we are surely going to increase our immunity it is having all the phytochemical uh, principal things uh, which i'm not going to explain over here just you have to, what you have to do you have to take giloy daily include giloy daily in your diet in your in your uh, routine and then if you are consuming giloy for 15 to 20 days you are building up the immunity for 6 months yes for 6 months apart from giloy uh, if we are having the problem of constipation then what we have to do we have to take uh, trifala we uh, trifala is very very important compound to have uh, good um, um, be, uh, to not have the constipation and uh, have good flow of um, stools uh, it passes uh, very easily and second ek bahut acha sa hack i am telling you take a glass of water to this glass of water add five uh, munakka munakka or resins in the glass of water one anjeer or one fig and pinch of haldi or turmeric keep it at your bedside when you wake up in the morning drink that water along with the munakka anjeer so uh, this will flush the toxins which got build up in your intestine it will remove all the mucus all the toxins in cycle collected in your intestine and every morning if you are consuming this munakka anjeer and turmeric water it is going to um, we're going to heal your heal your digestive system by avoiding the acidity and flushing all of the toxins and then uh, the very very nice fruit uh, which we should, which is available all the year round is papaya it is full of papain and it is very good for digestion and people say if your digestive system is working well that means you are all well right then no disease will affect you so here i have uh, put some pieces of papaya as well uh, if we are consuming papaya in day to day life or if we are consuming papaya before the commencement of period during and during our period then the complete uh, the toxins all the toxins from the body are removed in uh, in very easy way and the lactating mothers i recommend uh, to have consum- to consume papaya Uh, for the lactating mothers but uh, the pregnant women should avoid the consumption of papaya and um, otherwise papaya is really very good the chicken gunia and uh, uh, all the diseases which happens due to mosquito bite if we are consuming the juice of papaya leaves or papaya fruit then um, our platelet count will increase yes it will Uh, so this is uh, all about and then we can also have ashwagandha ashwagandha is uh, if you want to lose weight and if you have fatty liver if uh, you are not able to perform in your day to day activities well then you can have ashwagandha as well so uh, this is all uh, i have told so many things and if you have any questions regarding if you have any questions regarding uh, how you can have youthful skin you can ask some more questions i am 
there to answer all and I will feel really very happy to answer your questions. Plus, uh, I just forgot to have your digestive system working. You can have carom seeds that is ajwain, hing and kalanamakka mixture. So, it is really, it will work. Thank you, uh, Amit ma'am, for uh, giving us uh, such an informative talk to keep us... My pleasure. <laughs> yeah, to stay us healthy and uh, young, always, uh, no matter whatever is our age. After listening to your talk, uh, I myself feeling uh, young in my heart, mind and body. <laughs> So, Thank you. Now, uh, we have some queries from the participants. Can we mm -hmm. take a query? Sure, why not? Why not? Sure. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, the first one is uh, one query from the participant. Uh, he wanted some uh, treatment for the black spots. For uh, the black spots? Black spots on the face. Uh, although he consulted many doctors, but it is of no use. Any tip from your side? Yes, as I told you for the black spot uh, which happens due to aging and due to hormonal imbalance, I told the seed cycle it should be followed and secondly uh, we can use muleti powder, powder of leuco rice and uh, make a paste of leuco rice along with the kacha milk, uh, raw milk and apply it on the affected area. First treatment, second treatment is apply the powder of uh, masoor dal, red lentil mixed in uh, raw milk and apply it on the affected area, it is surely going to um, lighten those spots. And leucorice is, the leucorice is the most effective for lightening the black spots, which happens due to aging. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, another question is, how can I get uh, rid of taking uh, excess of tea, although I know many side effects? I think most of us are facing this problem. Any alternative you can suggest? Yes, uh, as I suggested, mono herb tea, right? So we should not consume the regular tea which we are consuming because the regular tea is uh, it is nothing but fermented tea leaves, right? We should not have fermented tea tea leaves. Uh, it we, we should minimize uh, its consumption. Yes, we can have alternative, uh, like we can have uh, you can have pudina or mint in your house and then dry, allow it to shade, shade dry it and make a powder of it. This is mint, uh, right? So we can use uh, mint tea along with if you are feeling like uh, how can we have mint like this, you just boil in a in cup of water and add uh, two to three drops or half teaspoon of uh, honey to it and it tastes so good, so nice, it relaxes your all the senses, it relaxes your nervous system and main aim of consumption of tea and coffee that we feel tired right we feel something to charge our body with we, we feel that there should be something to uh, charge up our nervous system and nerves so we can have this uh, pudina and uh, honey alternatively we can have any type of tea like rose tea we can have we can have uh, rosemary tree we can have tulsi tea we can have ginger tea any herb you can boil in water and have that tea along with the Honey, if you are not having diabetes, diabetes, and if you are diabetic, you can uh, have the uh, liquid uh, made up of stevia leaves, or with, you can have without any uh, natural sweetener. And you you should have this type, these type of tea, and go for alternative version. And you can also uh, for uh, having sweetness, you can also put some leucorice or muleti. So we alternatives are always there. It's only like you have to do it. And simply what I do, jab kuch nahi hota hai, I just uh, boil this uh, gudhal ka fool or hibiscus flour in water and I consume this. This is very tasty, very effective and not only you will be charged up, your nervous system will relax, you will have relaxed nerves but also you will look uh, youthful and you will have that glow, that youthful glow. So why not have tea, mono herb tea which is going to incre increase your youthfulness rather than making your old. <laughs> So, Thank you, ma'am. Uh, another question is, how to reduce dark circles around eyes? Okay. Uh, as I told you, we are having uh, different type of uh, exercise, different type of massages uh, around our eyes, like uh, like this. Uh, I told you about the eye, uh, eye cupping. This 
and then closing eyes and opening it well closing and opening it and applying cucumber on your eyes applying uh, cotton dipped in uh, rose water or cotton dipped in raw milk you can apply it and then uh, close your eyes for some time for say for 10 minutes and then you will feel the uh, all the tiredness of eyes have gone away and for uh, black thing here some puffiness occurs this blackening you can reduce by applying aloe vera gel so as i told you aloe vera gel you, we can extract from our uh, from the plant sources and this aloe vera gel is very very effective uh, to reduce the under eye black circles thank you ma'am uh, another very important question that uh, how we can make our body alkaline it become acidic because acidic the body is uh, prone to many ailments so from the home ingredients which are easily available in our kitchen how we can use them to make our body alkaline uh, as I told you, alkal um, acid because of acidity, because of uh, consumption of tea, coffee, and different acidic food, which is which we use, to, which which we our tongue like to consume actually, right? So we consume so many tri fried and oily and all those things, and it builds up acidity. Now, how to alkaline our body? First of all, I will tell about uh, al uh, having alkaline water. So, al for making the alkaline water, you have to take one cup of water. To it, you can add, add any citrus fruit. Here, I have had uh, added sweet lime and uh, coriander, or you can add mint and um, lemon. Allow it to stand for five to six hours, and this water get converted into alkaline water. You can consume this water every day. Every day we should have this. Con uh, we should consume the alkaline water this way, or we can have apple cider vinegar. Apple cider cider vinegar. When we consume, uh, take one half teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in one cup of water and have it. This is uh, this is also surely going to alkaline alkalinize our gut system and uh, help to neutralize the acidity building up there. Plus, we can have uh, amla. Amla is very, very effective. It is an alkaline food. We are, if we are not having amla fruit, fresh amla fruit, then we can make the powder of amla fruit. And this powder we can consume or we can cut it uh, and uh, make it a shade dry. And every day we can consume amla. Amla is also very effective in making the our body alkaline. So this way we can alkalinize our body in different ways. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, one more question. Uh, one of our teacher has put up that uh, due to long sitting posture, as teacher mm -hmm. we have to sit for long hour, so we normally face the this neck and back problem. Can you suggest uh, some more exercises? Yes, of course I can. See how much flexible uh, your. Uh, body is your pectoral and the pelvic girdle is your supra uh, supra spinous supra spinatus and infra spinatus muscle is it decides and the your cervical muscle your cervical muscle is at your back of your neck this this portion mostly when we uh, as world is going digital and of course teachers they are having sitting job so most of the time they are sitting so they are facing lot of problem in the cervical area as well as in this spinatus muscle spinatus muscles is here so we can have different posture different techniques wherein um, when when you are sitting on your working table you can do this exercise this is very effective for cervical and as i told you hold your right hand with your left hand see like this and it is going to build up the uh, strength of your supra and infraspinatus muscles. So these two exercises are very effective for uh, curing and for preventing uh, the sitting posture, the side effects which occurs due to sitting posture. So these two exercises are really, really going to help you. And the simplest exercise is just spread your hands and do like this. So this is also going to improve the strength of your shoulder muscles. Uh, dear friends, uh, due to time constraints, we cannot take up all your questions. Uh, if, uh, ma'am, can you share your email ID so that our participants can uh, connect with you later on? Yeah, sure. It's invention and discovery at the rate gmail.com. And uh, at last, I my message, my good wishes to all of you. The viewers who are watching, the all the members from the Khalsa College, I really want to thank uh, Khalsa College 
especially Dr. Chima ma'am, the head of department for botany and all the teaching and non-teaching staff who are connected to us in this live session, all the students who are there and the different viewers from different fields. And uh, I, I, I really, I really enjoyed the sessions talking to you and uh, expressing my views and ideas about having youthful skin. So, Dirghayu Bhava, Shat Ayu Bhava, live for 100 years, follow all the advices given to you today. And my recommendation is be happy always because happiness is actually the mantra. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your wonderful talk. And uh, by following your tips, we always try to look 360. <laughs> now I request Gopal, ma'am, to propose a vote of thanks. Thank you, Dr. Bhavita. Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes. Yes, ma'am, you are audible. A warm good afternoon to all. It is an honor for me to propose this vote of thanks. I, Dr. Gopa Sharma, on behalf of the Department of Botany, G. N. Khalsa College, Batunga, Mumbai, sincerely thank Dr. Amikar Puri, the founder and president of AKP Trust, who is also a doctorate in botany from Nagpur University. I extend my heartful gratitude to you, ma'am, for sparing your valuable time and for being with us today. Ma'am, the session was quite interesting and full of wisdom and information. Ma'am, you shared with us the secret of feeling youthful by reversing the age using very simple exercises and uh, home remedies. I'm sure that all the participants will be benefited from this session. We also appreciate your efforts in answering all the queries put up by the participants. We also express our sincere thanks to the principal of our college, Dr. Kiran Mangalkar and management, without whose support it would have not been possible to organize this event. We are indebted to Dr. S. K. Chima, HUD, who has been instrumental in every aspect of the webinar. We acknowledge the contribution provided by the technical team, Mr. Algin, Mr. Sham, and Mr. Ashish for their continuous efforts and cooperation. Last but not the least, we are grateful to all the participants for their active involvement. Thank you all for making this event successful. Thank you. Hello, ma'am.